Eric P. Newman was not only a renowned numismatic scholar, but also managed to assemble one of the most diverse and impressive collections on record. His true passion, though, was for early American or colonial coinage, and in the Eric P. Newman Part 11 signature auction held in November of 2018, this fact was clearly on display with several very rare early US coins that predate the US mint itself. First in line is an extremely rare pattern coin, of which there are only five coins known to exist today. Two of those are in permanent museum collections, leaving essentially only three coins available to collectors. The 1792 silver Washington President half dollar patterns shares a design with the far more renowned copper cent coins of a similar description, but as already noted, are far less obtainable, to put it mildly. In fact, the last time that one of these coins was on the market was all the way back in 2004. It has a details grade of XF from NGC due to some slight obvious graffiti and sold for a new record price for the type of $204,000. And then, while on the topic of the Washington patterns, another silver half dollar coin was also on offer, but this time it was one with the small eagle reverse design from Peter Getz. In his survey of these coins, George Field was able to enumerate 22 examples of varying subtypes, of which this one is one of nine coins with a plain edge. In total, of the known population, seven coins are currently in permanent museum collections, including the Smithsonian and the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation. This particular coin has the esteem to have once belonged to the brand, Colonel Green and Newman collections. NGC saw fit to bestow the coin with a grade of XF45 and it sold for a final price of $144,000. The next coin is arguably one of the most renowned pre-US mint coins, supposedly authorized by the Continental Congress around the year 1776 to circulate in addition to several paper money currencies issued of larger denominations. Although any specific documentation in support of this seems to have been largely lost to history, leading to several competing theories as to the coin's actual origins. But regardless of its origins or original intent, the continental dollar is widely collectible today. And this example struck in pewter and displaying the misspelled currency inscription on the obverse is quite rare indeed. At a very impressive grade of AU55 from NGC, the coin sold for $57,600 at auction. Following somewhat closely on the heels of that piece is what I will freely admit to be one of my personal favorite designs in the American numismatic catalog. While not so much a coin, but rather a medal, the Libertas Americana medal is not only stunning in terms of design, but rich in history as well. The brainchild of Benjamin Franklin, the symbology is both bold and complete completely unapologetic in this post-war of independence era. Minerva, representing France, is protecting the infant Hercules here, representing the newly born independent nation of America, from a rampaging lion, representing England. A beautiful MS-64 brown specimen from NGC that raised $36,000. If you ask most collectors to name the top three to five colonial or pre-US mint American coins, then the Fujio copper cents are likely to rank fairly highly on that list for most. And 
rightfully so, as it was the first coins to have been truly authorized by the Congress after the end of the War of Independence, enacted on July the 6th, 1787. This specimen is of the very rare Newman 13X variety, and is one of only four coins graded by NGC at MS66 with none finer known. It sold for the price of $11,400. To essentially round off the selection of colonial or early American coins is this 1787 Massachusetts half cent coin from the very short lived Boston Mint. In fact, the cent and half cent coins were the only denomination that was struck at this facility, and they were only produced for a total of two years in 1787 and 1788, after which this state run mint was a abandoned in anticipation of the establishment of the new federal US Mint. Though short-lived, several varieties do exist, of which this is the so-called Rider 4C type. This coin was again graded by NGC as MS64 Brown and sold at auction for $5,040. An interesting portion of numismatic history which is oftentimes overlooked, is represented here by this very small silver relic. Around the turn of the 19th century, there was a dire shortage of quarter dollars, especially in the South. To address this specifically, the Planters Bank of New Orleans withdrew existing eight reales coins from circulation segmented them into smaller pieces, applied a countermark to the obverse and reverse as surety of the coin's value and re-released them back into circulation to the value of a quarter dollar each. This practice was continued until sufficient supplies of that denomination could be obtained from the Philadelphia Mint in 1815. This Planters Bank host coin saw a final bid of $10,200. $100. Now, Eric Newman didn't just collect coins and banknotes though. The scope of his collection was truly breathtaking and included several numismatic related items as well. One of the more interesting of these pieces to come to light is, well, this block of wood, essentially. Um, <laughs> said to be a cross-section from one of the original beams from the first US Mint building in Philadelphia at 7th and Filbert Streets. Measuring approximately 13 by 9 by 3 centimeters or very loosely 5 by 3.5 to 1.2 inches, this item managed to sell for $1,800. Another item that I find just personally fascinating is this English safe check sovereign changer machine by WHLs. Produced around 1905, the intent was to put a gold sovereign or half sovereign through the appropriate central slots in the machine at which point they would be automatically checked for the correct weight and if deemed genuine then revealing one of the 16 copper or brass cups containing the proper silver change for the appropriate coin. Basically, it's an 18th century-esque counterfeit detector and change machine all in one. There's something inherently very steampunk about it, and I just adore it. It managed to sell for $3,840, in case you were wondering. Have you ever come across any pre-US Mint or Colonial coins yourself? And if so, let me know which is your favorite in the comments section below. Subscribe to WNN and activate notifications with the bell icon never to miss any future videos. For the world numismatic news, I am Numismin saying thank you for watching, keep collecting and have a great day.